Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I have an underused battle today, and I just want to thank you guys for the good feedback. Uh, my last two videos, I got a lot of comments as well. And especially on my Lucario competitive sets, you guys really like that one a lot out of the three the most. I got over 10 likes on that, which is a lot for my channel at least. But anyway, as you can see, I'm rounding up on them spikes. He's going to go for the overheat, but I do have the sash, so that's good. Uh, this team is mo mostly for just stacking up on entry hazards, and <laughs> you'll definitely see why later. So I go Destiny Bomb to take it out with me, and I avoid the attack. So that really sucks for me. He's going to switch out, and at this point, I'm not sure what he was going to do, so I just go for the third set of spikes, so I'm completely set up. So even if he takes me out, I really don't care. Alright, so he has Heracross now, and he'll go for Megahorn and take me out. Uh, but I'm fine with that because, you know, I did get all the hazards up. All three spikes. So I'm going to go into my fake out Pokemon, forcing him to switch so he won't stack up on Moxie. So that was a good play for me. And he goes into this annoying wall. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't really ver verse this Pokemon yet in competitive. So I really know what it was meant for or, you know, if it was an attack or anything like that. So I really do underestimate it in this uh, battle. You'll see why later. It really hurt my team. Alright, so I'm going to switch out knowing I can't do anything. I'm going to go into Rhyperior because I think I can wall it, but he has Toxic and that changes everything. So I can't do that no more. So I'm thinking, okay, let's just go for the entry hazards again. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. He goes for a Hidden Power. I'm not too sure which one because Rhyperior is weak against a lot of stuff. Alright, so I get my Rocks off. And this really sucks at the moment because... You know, the Toxic's gonna stack up on damage. And I'm low, running low on health right now. So I'll go Mega Horn, and it does 40%. Not too bad. Just one more to take it out now. So I'm gonna go for Mega Horn again, I believe. But he has Moonlight, and that really sucks. Because Moonlight, I believe, heals 50% while I'm doing 42%. So he's gonna outbeat my damage. So, that pretty much means Rapier is gonna go down. Uh, man, this thing's annoying. So, he's back at 100%. I'm thinking let's just do some damage, but I miss. He avoids the attack. So, can't go any worse right now. I'm trying to figure out how to beat this thing. So, I'm gonna go into uh, my Blastoise. Because I have Toxic as well. So, I'm thinking that's a good counter, but I guess it doesn't have anything on Blastoise for that thing. So he's going to switch out, and there's the power of entry hazards. <laughs> Pain in the ass I am. Uh, so I go for the Toxic. I wish it was on the other Pokemon, but I do get it on that, so I won't complain for now, I guess. And I know a Grass-type is move is coming, so I'm definitely going to have to switch out. And I use my Royal Power to take the hit. Now, Nidoqueen Queen is usually a bulky type, but I guess that thing has a lot of attack or something. Honestly thought I was going to take a, about 3 or 4 hits, but I guess not. So Seed Flare will take me out. Uh, I pretty much just use this thing just to, you know, not take damage on my fake out Pokemon or any other Pokemon. Uh, pretty much for a free switch. But anyway, now I'm going to go back into my fake out Pokemon. Uh, wanting him to force the switch for entry hazard damage. And that's pretty much what this team is for. Uh, trying to force switch so I can get as much entry hazard damage as possible. So I use fake out, but this turn I'm, I'm not going to go for the U-turn because I have stone edge. So that's cool, I get to take out that thing. Finally something good is happening. I have to say I played very sloppy this game, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, I should have took this thing out easily had I you know, had a good day on Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> I was just off today, I don't know why. Anyway, I go U-turn. Uh, going back into Blastoise to go for the Toxic. Um, I believe he goes... Yeah, he goes Psychic. As you can see, I can pretty much wall the thing right now. Until he uses Toxic anyway. So I'm thinking maybe he's going to stay in now. So I'm going to go for Toxic. He goes Moonlight, which sucks. And I freaking missed the Toxic. This can't go any possibly worse. <laughs> 
So he avoids attack, so I'm thinking, forget about it, just go for it again. And he switches out. <sighs> anyway, I guess it's a good force switch. As you can see, the entry hazards pretty much did almost all that thing's health, so I get the talk look on that again. And I kind of over, I try to over predict here, thinking, you know, maybe he would just try to use a move that'll hurt my other Pokemon, and he stays into C Flare. So now Blastoise is pretty much a goner, at least I take it out, but still, not can't even rely on the Toxic. I know my Fega Pokemon can't handle it, so I'm thinking it's down to Heracross, who does also have Mega Horn, which I should have used from the beginning. Wow, I was so off today. Anyway, he will get the easy revenge kill because Blastoise has no speed and low hit points. Alright, so I'm gonna go into my choice scarf Heracross. Go lock into Mega Horn. I do have Moxie, so you know, pretty much if I hit beat one of his Pokemon, I will get the attack increase. So, not to mention I have the choice scarf, so I, it's pretty much an automatic going first, unless he has priority or something like that. Alright, so I take this thing out finally. I should have done that a long time ago, but. I'm just glad it's over with. So Moxie Raise is my attack, so that's good. So as you can see, now is when Hazards are really going to help me out. And Scarfed with Moxie with the Hazards, you're about to see the power of it. <laughs> Alright, so I get that hair across, and that means I get another attack boost. So I'm at two times Stab Megahorn. Uh, I have to say, with two times and with the Hazard damage, I do not think that crit mattered. Um, yeah, so as you can see, another late game sweep. I've been getting a lot of those lately. <laughs> so he goes into Bronzong, and I do get a crit, I apologize, but at the same time, he couldn't really do much. I mean, Bronzong doesn't really have attack moves like that. And, you know, I think I would have took it on one hit, maybe two hits. But anyway, MVP, definitely Heracross. Um, Choice Scarf, Hazards. And then, you know, Moxie ability. You know, I already automatically go first, so once I beat a Pokemon, I will get the attack boost, so I'm not too worried about it. A uh, really good set. It's, it kind of reminds me of Lucario, but I definitely think Lucario is better. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. Uh, Riparius set coming soon.